Risen out of the ashes of devastation after World War II, today it's one of the strongest of the industrialized nations. The nation retains its rich cultural heritage while integrating Western ideas and influence, bridging the gap between East and West. As a people, they possess a great cultural dignity. Their hard work ethic and low national crime rate has in many ways made them a model for other nations to follow. Despite the spectacular beauty of its countryside and an outward appearance of tranquility, there is a dark side. levels and social demands upon workers, students, and even housewives make the suicide rate in Japan one of the highest in the world. Since World War II, there's been a great spiritual vacuum in the nation. Traditionally, the Japanese are Shintoists and Buddhist. But since the fall of Imperial Japan and the Emperor's confession that he wasn't a living god, most today have only a passing interest in religion. The tendency is to pick and choose from among different beliefs, taking what they think will suit them and adding to it whatever they already have. Strangely, they can be very superstitious. Palm readers and fortune tellers line the streets of Tokyo at night, and almost everyone will make the journey to the temple to pray for a prosperous new year. Family life is hectic as well. With the father rarely being home due to his work situation, the mother becomes responsible for raising the children almost entirely on her own. With an absent father, a preoccupied mother, and the pressure of school, many young people wander the streets at all hours looking for something to give them fulfillment. Since money is rarely a problem, most young people spend like there is no tomorrow, only to find the happiness they were seeking has eluded them. Currently, one of the newest problems faced by young people is homelessness. Many are getting kicked out of their homes and spend their nights in internet cafes or at the park. Don and Yumi Bishop have a special burden and vision for Japan. For Yumi, it's her homeland. Don first went to Japan as a young man while in the U.S. military. That's when he met Yumi and fell in love with she and her nation. This love and desire to bring the gospel to Japan has long dominated both their hearts. Now, they've developed a God-breathed strategy for breakthrough into this traditionally resistant nation. We'd like to challenge you to get involved with Don and Yumi in reaching one of the most influential and important nations on earth, Japan. Won't you get involved today? They can't go unless we send them. Here's how you can partner with them.